Today, I wanted to get a short workout, but I also want to fit in some yoga style mobility and stretching. So today's short video is a uh, yoga and hip practice inspired by Budokan, Budokan Yoga, Budokan Movement. If you're curious about them, hit up budokan.com, budokan.com, and you can find out more about that style. Um, but it's a style I haven't taught for a while and I actually still really enjoy it. It's something I trained in in 2015 and it really opened my eyes to different movement patterns and different ways of practicing. So we're gonna do some of that today. Let's get started. Okay. By the way, my name's Ashley. Nice to meet you. You can find more about me, my teaching style, and different things, online courses and whatnot at ashesyoga.com. Okay, so we start in this position, sitting on the heels, or whatever's comfortable, if this is not comfortable. Hands resting in your lap, close the eyes. Take a moment to center, to turn inward. Notice your breath, your body, notice how you're feeling today. Let's take the chin down to the chest, adding some movement, gazing up, chin down the chest, <coughs> gazing up. Then look forward, open your arms, reach forward, around your back, pull everything in. Then open up as you swim, lift the chest, lift the heart. So we're protracting, abs in, round in the back. And then retract the shoulders, lift the chest, and look up. In Budokan, this is all, all, often called cobra hood, this rounding of the back, pulling in of the belly, tucking the chin. Looks like a snake, a cobra hood. And then we open up a little back bend. And let's take it to hands and knees. Hands down, knees underneath the hips, hands under the shoulders. Do that same thing, arch the back, look up. And then look down, rounding the back. Trying to get into all areas of the spine as a simple, nice warm-up. Now, whatever feels good to you, if you want to do circles or side to side, just take this time to add that movement in onto your, into your practice, into your warm-up. Okay, come back to neutral. So keep the right hand down. Let's take, lift that left arm, reach it way up, just open up, and then take it down. And then other arm reaching up and take it down. All right, here we go. Step your feet back into plank pose. Pressing into those hands, you get the strong plank position. Notice how you feel here. Feel pretty awesome, maybe. If not, take the knees down. If so, keep them up. Now look down, press into the hands and slowly from the upper back to lower back, you're gonna lift the hips up and back for downward facing dog. Heels up high to start with as you roll back. Now that should have taken a few seconds at least, not just a quick one. So a few seconds, and then take the heels down, pedal the feet so that feels good. <laughs> From down dog to a floating up dog. So our toes are still tucked under, we're on the balls of the feet. Lift the heels high, tuck the chin, work through the lower back first, pull the belly in and start to engage your abs to shift forward. Press into the hands so you fill out the back, creating a lot of strength for the upper body and then the hips will descend. Once you're in plank pose, hips descend towards the floor, towards the ground, roll the shoulders back, lift the chest and gaze forward. Got to do the opposite of that. Exhale as you look down, press into the hands, work from the upper back first. Feeling like your body is rolling. And you're still breathing. Awesome, take the heels down towards the floor. You can take the feet together, big toes touch, and lift that right leg. Oh, get in the space, lift the right leg all the way up. Bend the knee, heel to your sit bone, keep that knee from externally rotating by pointing it down so it doesn't have to be too high. Lift the left heel as high as you can, 
as high as you can. Keep looking at the toes, back toes. Right knee comes forward without moving the upper body. Right knee forward. Knee to chest or knee to nose without touching the nose. And then when you can't get any farther, shift forward, knee to nose. Awesome. Knee to right elbow, touch. Knee to left elbow, touch. Right elbow, touch. Left wrist, touch it down. Right wrist, touch it down. Right elbow, left elbow, right wrist, left wrist, left elbow, and back, down and facing dog. It's a lot on the hands, so take breaks when you need. <laughs> Other side, we're gonna lift that left leg all the way up. You can point the toes or point the foot, pull the toes back and spread the toes. Bend the knee, heels towards your backside. Knee lifted, gaze back. Lift the right heel this time. You're going to single leg down dog with a bent knee. Knee comes forward slowly without moving anything but the leg, the hip. And then when you can't get any more forward, shift forward. Last one here, left. Let's take knee to nose to left elbow, right elbow, left elbow, right elbow. Keep that heel high. Left elbow, right elbow, left wrist, right wrist. Right elbow, left elbow, right wrist, left wrist. Press, lift into the left elbow and back. Left leg, take it high first and then to downward facing dog. Walk your feet forward to the outside of the hands. Bend the knees, hands to your heart. This is where we stretch out the wrists a little bit. Just rotate. Because we're in the squat, let's take some movement here, side to side. And we'll get into our first little workout portion. So we're going to go from squat, turn to the back of the room. So we do that, let's go eight times, okay? So take the hands down. It's called leaping leopard. It's an animal type of movement that um, you can modify or and it like boosts your heart rate. So we'll do it eight times back and forth. Pressing into the hands and the feet, you're going to shoot straight up and turn. 180 degrees. So you press and lift, land soft. And then modify, and then come back, and that's number two. To modify it, you can press into the hands and feet, step, step, lower. Even just going from this low squat to standing, it's kind of a lot. So we'll do that six more times. Go. All the way down, pause, and back up. Four, five, six, Seven, eight, awesome, we did eight. Step back, plank, knees down, sit back in child's pose for a moment. <sighs> All right, come forward. If you need more time to pause, please press pause. Step back, plank pose. Tuck the chin, press into the hands and roll it back slow to downward facing dog. Let's lift the right leg. Slowly take it high. Bend the knee. And we bring the right knee to the right elbow. Step to the outside of the hand. Step hips down. Hip look up. Low lunge. Press into the hand. Take that right foot back. Single leg down dog. Same thing. Step to the outside of the foot. You can bend the knee. Keep it straight. We're going to step gently and lightly, look up, and take it back. One more time, lift, and take the right knee, right elbow, right, everything, right foot to the outside of the right hand. Step back. Downward facing dog, left leg up high, bend the knee, knee comes forward to the outside of the left hand, left elbow, step between, actually step on the outside of the hand. Hips down, look up, and then back. Single leg down dog, bend the knee again, swing that leg, not swing, slowly take it forward with strength and control as you step to the outside of the hand, and back. One more time, step to the outside. Hips down, look forward, and then take it back. Both feet down to downward facing dog. 
look forward, we're going to now this time jump or float into that squat pose. And then right away, hit up eight more leaping leopards. Bend the knees, look forward, jump, step, hop, however you want. Here we go. Ready? Eight. Lift. Take your time. Come all the way down, take a pause. No need to rush it. Two more. Awesome. Take the feet back. You might want to just sit or child's pose. Breathe. Let your heart rate come down. Right back to downward facing dog and take the hands forward under the shoulders, step straight back, plank pose, tuck the chin, press into the hands, and we slowly rise in the hips. Okay, now we'll take that right leg, high, slow lift, bend the knee, and instead of knee to nose, open that right hip, open the hip, external rotation, knee to sky, right heel towards your left shoulder. Then lift the left heel and shift it forward so your shoulders are over the wrist. Take your right foot way back behind you, picking up the right hand. You're gonna hover and sit, almost sitting, hover, before you lift the hips again and reach back. Left leg is straight and strong like you're kicking. Right knee is bent and strong and stable. Then bring the hand back towards your face like you're guarding yourself. Lower and hover, hover the hips. We go up and over. Hand, look to where the right hand goes. Lift the hips, right leg up high. Then step to the outside of the right hand. Hips down, look up. Awesome. And then step back to downward facing dog. Left leg rises. Bend the knee and open up that hip. Pressing the right heel down for a second, equal weight in the hands. Then lift the right heel, get height. Shift forward, look between the hands. Take that left way back behind you, pivot on the ball of the back foot so the heel comes down, straight back leg, left knee bent. Foot comes to the floor, left hand picks up. We hover above the ground, guard your face. Then the hips come up and rise as you reach back with the left hand and keep breathing, and then guard your face. Lower down, hover, just above the floor. We'll go up and over, left foot lifts up and over, left hand places where your gaze is, left leg up and down. No, uh, step to the outside of the left hand. Step, lunge, look forward, look up, and then step back. Now we step back. No sound on the step back, try it. One more time with those jumps. Look forward, heading into your squat pose, bend the knees. This time, can you float? Can you hang? Can you create a little hang time? Bend the knees, exhale as you jump. Uh, Try it. Hands to heart, press, lift. Oh. Eight more, last time, let's do this. Hands to the mat, press, jump. Do it again. Two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. <sighs> Great job. Bring your heart right down. Bring the heart right down. Let's lift up onto the knees. Let's create some more openness since we've been kind of forward a lot. Take the right, it's a dancing camel pose. Right hand to your heel or to your hip. Reach up with the left hand. And then we do a little dance around. Reach for the opposite heel. And slow down this little dance because I want you to feel the different areas in your core, different area in your um, Along your sides, your obliques, your back. 
whatever it is that needs a little extra attention, you can slow it down there. Okay, and then finish out some of this little swiveling movement and sit in child's pose. Round the back, sit back on the heels. Knees can be wide or together, forehead to the floor. And slowly roll yourself up so you're sitting on your heels. You're going to bring the legs forward. You can either swing the legs around or cross the ankles, press into the floor, lift, pick up, slide them through. Straight legs. Let's do a forward fold. Just a simple moving forward fold. So you reach up. Reach forward, around the back, and roll yourself back up, dragging your hands on the floor. Reach up, and forward. Rise. Reach up, and forward. And rise. Take your feet together, knees open wide. Sit closer to the heels, hands on the feet. Deep breath in and out as you fold. Do that again, inhale up, exhale down. One more time. Lift it back up, knees together. Roll into your back, rolling. Hug the knees in and rock side to side, giving that low back a massage. Hugging the knees closer because you can feel those squats that we just did. Feet to the floor, do this slowly, help to open up the front of the body with a bridge pose. Feet down, palms down, press into the feet and slowly lift, pulling the tailbone under, abs in, <laughs> and we're gonna peel ourselves up. Shoulder squeeze together. Look up, or look wherever, you can close the eyes. Bring the energy down. And then lower back down. Knees go side to side. Bringing out that energy, bringing out the any stuck spaces you have left over. All right, hug the knees back in. Roll up to a seated pose or press back up. Whatever is comfortable, we are finishing here. If you like a longer shavasana or to lay down for a while that's a great option otherwise we'll finish together in a seated pose so do what you need to do so take your hands just rest them on your thighs or in your lap close your eyes once again coming back to this mindful check-in mindful awareness of our body what it can do for us and with gratitude with appreciation and with love we say farewell Thank you for joining and I hope to see you next time in another video or in a class, in a workshop, you know, all the places. So you can find me at ashesyoga.com and I can't wait to work with you again. Leave a comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, let me know how you like this and if I should be doing more videos like this, okay? Alright, see you later.